This is my best friend Mark and today I'm taking him on a mystery trip to somewhere in Europe. But of course there's a twist. Firstly, he's blindfolded and won't know where we're going until after we land. You're not And secondly, I didn't plan this trip, an AI robot did. See, there's this new website called Strava, where Mark answered a couple of questions and then magically the AI, apparently with billions of data points, fully designs the perfect trip in our budget, including choosing a destination, organizing transportation and hotels, and planning our daily activities. So of course, I had to try it out. But it didn't always go according to plan. Enjoy. Okay, so we are at the airport and you have no idea where we're flying. How do you feel? Excited and clueless at the same time. And quite nervous to be honest. If you had to pick right now, where would you want to fly? Probably somewhere cooler. At this point I'm hoping Scandinavia. It's almost time to actually board the plane and I've prepared some darked out sunglasses and some noise cancelling headphones. So you have no idea what plane we're going on and hopefully in a couple hours you'll land in a new country and we have a blast. Are you ready? I'm ready. I don't know this is Okay. It's working pretty well right now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. You have to go. Stand here. Yes, thank you so much. So, you following? Okay. Bye bye. Thank you, have a good flight. Well, wow. we're the ones flying. Oh my god. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Okay. Nice. Okay, you're good. We're going on a trip. What is it? An airplane, obviously. It's a plane. <laughs> We're flying. I'm on the window seat, but can't see the window. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of a flight, innit? Flight crew, please prepare for takeoff. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day. <laughs> how, how long do you think we float? It felt like one to two hours. One to two hours? Yeah. That was a successful flight, wasn't it? <laughs> it feels cold. It feels cold. It's missing like so cold. Where do you think you are right now? My honest guess? Yep. Somewhere in Spain or Italy. We are officially in the country. We just passed immigration. Oh wow, that was easy <laughs> being blindfolded. We're, we're in the country now, no one can just... We're outside. Whoa. What? Okay, follow, follow, follow. Where are you? <laughs> this weather just threw me off. <laughs> Why is it so cold? Like I have double... Oh. Are you kidding? Huge. 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 Okay. It's the coolest trucks. That's my bad. <laughs> Definitely not in a capital city. <laughs> And just like that, after surviving over six hours of quite chaotic yet surprisingly easy international blindfolded travel, we finally approach our final destination. You don't hear any people? What? No people? Bro, it's a full park right now. What's your final guess? Where do you think you are right now? It's still somewhere near... Finland, Sweden, Denmark, somewhere there. Your final guess, what's your guess? Where do you think you are right now? Denmark. Denmark? Take it off, find out. What? 
the heck where are we? <laughs> where do you think we are? This doesn't tell me anything. Pro probably most likely Denmark, Sweden. Is this right? Finland. Norway? Iceland? You're in Iceland! Are you in Iceland? Yes! This is Iceland. This is Iceland. Iceland. Four and a half hour flight. <laughs> yes. We had like two to three hours. We're in is Reykjavik, this? the capital. That's the capital? That's the capital. We definitely not be the capital city. We've had like a minute. It's nine degrees Celsius right now. Yeah, no. With 40. There you go. I don't even know where Iceland is. <laughs> so there's one more surprise. Give me two minutes. Alright, close your eyes. This is it. See, Mark has always wanted to go to a scavenger hunt, so, yup, I abandoned him in a random city in a random country. Welcome to Iceland. You have 30 minutes to find our hotel. If you do, we'll go on a crazy excursion tomorrow. Good luck. What? What? But the card says look around for hints. Hotel? Muli. Look in bush. Oh, it's a map! <laughs> uh, excuse me? Where is this address? Uh, that's... Uh, if you're walking, it's probably like an hour or something. An hour? Yeah. Okay, so the walk to the hotel actually takes 22 minutes. I have to walk one hour? What? So he has eight minutes to actually find the direction to the place and then he has to actually go there pretty quick. I assume I have to go this way. Starting to worry. You meet, uh, when you come to that place, yeah. you want to go to the right. Turn right. I've, I've right. just follow uh, like it's a long walk. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I honestly feel like I have maybe ten minutes left. Maybe eight, nine. Mark has five more minutes. Um, so you better be running. <laughs> I just found a cat. Hi. Hi. These people. You're on YouTube. You're super cool. That's the only complaint I have. I'm just trying to like get to my destination and make it in time. Okay, guys. <laughs> I think I found a hotel. Is it this one? I think it's down here. This is this is fine. Oh, oh my god, that's him, that's him, that's him, that's him, that's him, that's him. Wait, where did you go? Ah, Hotel Mui! I found it! Did it make it? You made it in time. You have one and a half minutes left. So, as promised, he gets to pick one of three crazy AI recommended excursions. What do you pick? I have to choose A. A? A it is. We'll find out what we're going to do tomorrow. Oh. We are going snorkeling in the world's clearest waters between two continents. No way. <laughs> yes. For real? Yes. You wanted some adventure and the AI gave you some adventure. Yeah, well, that's a big adventure. Yeah, the water is actually one degree. No joke. One. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> There's always one that gets wet during the day. So oh. hopefully today that's not me. <laughs> I'm not sure. Now we're literally swimming in the rift between North America and Europe, allowing us to touch both continents at the same time. But the waters we're swimming in are also considered the clearest in the world, with a maximum visibility of 500 feet. 
That's because the water is coming straight from a glacier and took over a hundred years to filter through. But of course, this also makes it some of the coldest water in the world. So when this happened, it was kind of concerning. I'm wet. After quite a refreshing morning and a quick change of clothes, we continue our day on a tour of the Golden Circle, consisting of Iceland's most iconic natural wonders, starting off with a geyser. Are you ready for an explosion? I'm always ready for an explosion. Always? Okay, let's go. Boom. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> What direction is it going to go? <laughs> After seeing water burst up, it's time to see it fall down at Europe's largest waterfall. Which technically isn't even in Europe, because it's formed by the same rift we swam in where Europe and North America are separating. Then we head to a brief stop at a horse farm. He's oh. scratching his yeah, friend's yeah, they, oh, so yeah. They, they, yeah, they help each other, you know, it's like scratch my back, catch my yours. <laughs> and then a couple more hidden gems here and there. Now while this should have been the highlight of this trip, the next day turned out to be much more interesting than expected. See, in the morning we hiked up a volcano, or precisely the Fagradalsjöjal volcano, which erupted last year and gave us a stunning lava field we could walk on. See how long you can touch it. That's hot. <laughs> now, in a country where we literally saw the ground boiling several times, a few fumes coming from a still active volcano didn't seem too out of the ordinary. And so we went on with our day and headed to swim in one of Iceland's most iconic places, the Blue Lagoon. But while we were fooling around and relaxing, the volcano we just left an hour earlier was starting to shake a little. It started at 12 o'clock. So just to maybe 15 minutes old. Oh, we old. did feel an earthquake. The green star? Yeah. This is where we were probably doing the hiking, so you can see it's just around that area. There were earthquakes in that area today. Oh. So you think there's going to be something big tonight? According to the geologist, there's some movement with the magma underneath. So it's trying to break its way. It's starting to break. Uh, so. Uh, are you sure you're going home tonight then? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very early. But we thought that would be the end of it. The next day we continued on our program and went on a whale watching tour and enjoyed... Well, not really. That's what the AI wanted us to do. Here's what actually happened. You felt that, right? We just shake again. This is the third shake in an hour. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. That was insane. That night, over 4,000 earthquakes rattled the island, many of them between magnitudes 5 and 6. And most of them occurred right here, at the volcano we visited yesterday. And all of this is happening because magma is starting to build up literally below the lava field we just walked on barely 12 hours prior. And as the country was immediately put on volcano alert, and because the volcano is conveniently located between the capital and the airport we're supposed to leave from, we decided to cancel today's activities to make sure we catch our flight. As we flew out of the country, we got one last glimpse of the volcano, and just 10 hours later, it happened. Proving that while AIs might have become incredibly impressive at personalizing and planning vacations, there might always be something it can't quite prepare you for. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for more travel adventures and help us reach our 1000 subscriber goal by the end of the year. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye, bye. Yeah.